There is some encouraging news this morning about the 10-year-old boy at the center of a heart-wrenching child abuse case. The head of the Department of Children and Family says Victor Barraona's condition is improving. Officials visited him at a Miami hospital yesterday, just days after Victor and his adoptive father, Jorge, were found on the side of I-95 this week in a pickup truck. The boy was covered with an acid-like substance and his twin sister was dead in the back of the truck. Liz Flynn has more on the visit and the latest on the investigation. This is a horrific situation and uh, I wish I could answer that question of how it could happen. Florida Department of Children and Families Secretary David Wilkins is putting together a new review team to look for answers and promising the agency will be upfront with what it finds. I also commit to you my personal involvement to learn all the facts and provide you quick, responsive, and corrective actions. Wilkins is encouraged by 10-year-old Victor Barraona's progress, but the DCF still wants to know why he was in this pickup truck with his adoptive father, Jorge. Victor is being treated for serious acid burns and broken bones. Authorities later found his twin sister, Nubia, dead in the back of the same truck. Jorge Barahona told investigators his daughter's death destroyed him. He said he gave Victor a handful of sleeping pills and tried to commit suicide by pouring gasoline on himself. He said he later decided not to do it. Barahona is now in the Palm Beach County Jail with no bond after pleading not guilty to charges of attempted first-degree murder and aggravated child abuse. We feel like we're responsive to you and to everyone in this community to really explain what we know what we can learn about how these events could have transpired. Jorge and his wife Carmen Barahona's other two adopted children are now back in foster care after the DCF removed them from their home. Friday, a judge also ordered the family's older daughter, Jennifer Perez, not to contact her own six-year-old daughter, who's believed to have told a therapist of the abuse going on in Barahona's home. As DCF officials move forward with their own investigation, they're also asking the public for help. My wife Tanya and I believe in the power of prayer and the hope in our community. We ask you to join us in praying for Victor and for his siblings. Liz Flynn, WPTV News Channel 5. DCF didn't explain too much about the conversation they had with Victor yesterday, but Wilkins says he is very hopeful that Victor's condition will continue to improve.